This is the first caffeine that I've had in 30 days. It is so good. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Caitlin from Leave Me Alone Plants and today here I have my magnificent rat tail cactus. This is actually the second rat tail cactus that I have had. If you saw my video on how I accidentally spent $350 on plants, then you saw this plant in the video and I wanted to share with you how you keep these guys happy and healthy because when it comes to cactuses, these guys are super unique. As you can see, long, flowy, beautiful, I don't really know what you call these arms these um drop it down in the comments if you know what these are called but <laughs> these long stems of cactus just absolutely gorgeous so if you have one or if you want to get one of these plants then keep on watching and we will get into the care right now Now, these beautiful cactus are native to Mexico, just a little bit south of my home place of Arizona. However, despite being native to a super warm, hot, dry climate, um, these plants aren't necessarily going to be cared for in the way that you would typically think of a cactus. So if you're looking online, you will see that these cactuses can tolerate bright direct light. And I will tell you from personal experience that if you live somewhere that has hot sun, like probably Mexico, or in my case, Arizona, then bright direct light probably is not the way to go for you. I'll put a picture right here, but you can see what happens when these guys get bright direct light. It isn't pretty. With that said, of course, like almost every plant that we discuss on this channel, this guy will like a bright indirect light. And what you might start to notice if this guy is getting too much light before it gets to that crispy, crunchy, scary picture that I just showed you, is it'll start to lose a little bit of its color. Now, do note that it is normal as these plants age that instead of being a bright, vibrant green, they will become more of a beige or a paler color. Um, you know, just like you or I, as we age, we kind of lose a lot of our coloring and get gray hair and kind of paler skin. The same can happen to plants. So um, just keep in mind the age of your cactus, but uh, if it is kind of newer, it was looking super vibrant a week ago, and you notice that it is looking duller now, then the sun it could be the culprit of your problem there. I'm just going to set this guy down because he is uh, kind of poking me a little bit right now. And that kind of gets into one of the points I want to make about this cactus. If you are a cactus lover, then you may know it is a love-hate relationship in the sense that some of the cactus you will own will be very painful if you touch them, their needles will stick into you, and it's not this wonderful experience. Now, this guy is what I consider kind of a middle-of-the-road cactus in terms of if he will hurt you. If you accidentally happen to bump into the sky or just touch him lightly, you'll be completely fine, the needles won't hurt you. However, if you go in and try and pinch down on any of these little stems with the needles, then they will come out, they will hurt you, and they will stick into you, and it's, it's just not a wonderful experience for anyone involved. I'm sure the cactus doesn't love it either. So just keep that in mind when you are handling and repotting these guys. As a matter of fact, um, I just took this guy out of his nursery pot last week, and I used the skewer method, which you, if you are not familiar with that method, um, basically, well, hold on, let me just show you. So you are going to want to take uh, four, I do four, but I mean, I guess you could use any amount of, that you want, of these little shish kebab skewers that you can get at the grocery store. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick these in at, um, I guess not the four corners, because there are no corners on a circle, but um, four points kind of far apart on the soil. This will work best if your soil is a little dry. And all you need to do is just pull it up and you've got an unpotted cactus. Now I'm gonna put this right back in here because I'm not trying to get soil everywhere, but if you have plants that are cactus or um, you know, maybe something with thorns or something like a donkey tail that you just don't want to disturb the plant too much, this is a great way in and out of the pot. And of course, you can save your skewer for future repotting adventures. All right, back to the care for this plant. So like the jungle cactus that we have recently discussed on this channel, this cactus is also an epiphytic one, which again, if you haven't heard this spiel already, basically means that it doesn't need to grow in a soil medium. It can grow in the side of a tree. It can grow on a rock. It can grow basically wherever the hell it wants to grow, which is fantastic. Um, that gets into our watering, so of course cactuses typically are not going to want to be super, super wet, but particularly this guy. When you're in an epiphytic scenario, um, as you can probably imagine, the water is going to just kind of drizzle down. It's not going to be collecting in the soil, so um, 
of course be sure that you have a well-draining soil, a well-draining pot, and just don't go nuts with the watering because otherwise you can absolutely rot these plants. But again, exhibit A, this is what happens when it gets too much sun and not enough water. So don't do that either. Really what I'm trying to say is go in, water the soil when it's dry, but not any time before that because no one's going to be happy. Additionally, in the winter months, these can go dormant. So if you start to notice your cactus dying back a little bit in those months, don't go crazy. But of course, do note in plant dormancy that they typically do not like to, um, you know, be getting much water during that time. So you can typically just skip your waterings altogether and resume it in the springtime. Additionally, during those winter months, this guy is not going to be frost tolerant. He, like I said, is native to Mexico, likes those warmer conditions. So if it's dropping below 40 degrees or so, I would recommend bringing him inside. Otherwise, you're gonna have a pretty cold, sad little cactus. As for propagating these guys, this is one of the easiest cactuses to propagate. You don't have to wait for an arm or anything like that to come off, although, where did they go? You can see right here, I've actually got two cute little babies right here. Um, so they will just kind of pop out new stems on their own. However, with that said, if you're a patient and you have a friend who just loves this cactus and you want to give them a section of it, basically you're just going to clean up a pair of um, pruning shears or I don't tell anyone, just use kitchen scissors. Um, but you just clean those up with some rubbing alcohol. You can chop off a piece, wait for it for a couple days to callus up, um, place it in some sand or some soil, and it will root up for you from there. Super easy to propagate, and you know, if your plant is looking long like this one, but it's not super full on the top, luckily this guy is uh, technically both long and full, so I don't need to do this, but in that scenario, you can just kind of cut off the tips, put them on the top, and eventually you'll have a super long and full cap. As for how long these guys can get, I have read online that they can get up to six feet long, which is what I aspire to in life. Um, I would love to have one of these that is six feet long and just trailing throughout my house. Um, this guy, I'm so bad at measuring lengths. This is what, probably like a foot and a half, two feet. Um, so we're getting there. We're <laughs> just a couple feet away from maxed out, so it should be there in no time flat. Additionally, this guy has pretty thin little um, tendrils. Is, is that the word, tendrils? Is that what these things are called? Please help a girl out. Comment down below what these long cactus things are called. But as you'll notice, um, they are, like I said, pretty thin. However, you may find other cactuses that look very similar. So if you like this plant, also note the monkey tail cactus, my personal favorite. Um, there's the dog tail cactus, which I don't think is quite as cool, but it looks very similar. And then one that people often confuse this plant for um, by based on the name is the golden rat tail cactus. Um, also, it sometimes goes by the golden rod cactus if it's like growing in the ground versus in a hanging pot. But um, nonetheless, same plant, but different <laughs> than this one. So um, if you are looking to buy one of these, just be mindful of which one you are buying because to be honest with you I initially thought that I bought a golden and then it was this one but it's fine it's a, it's all fine we're all happy here and uh, we love cactuses no matter what kind they are unless it's a prickly pear those can all just go die and burn because listen your girl has had far too many prickly pear spines stuck in her to want to have one of those around hey you can't hear me that fast we gotta cut this part in because I forgot to say it but it's super important so one of the main reasons that a lot of people online will fall in love with these plants and buy them is these beautiful pink blooms that they get on them. I'll put a picture right here, absolutely gorgeous. They tend to come out in the springtime after they come out of their dormancy. The problem is these blooms only last a couple days. So word to the wise, if you see this plant online for sale with all these blooms on it and you are specifically trying to buy this plant, do note that by the time that this plant ships to you, the blooms will likely be gone. I say this specifically because I typically see in plant groups that when these plants are blooming and gorgeous, people will jack up the prices like three times of what they normally go for. So again, if you are looking to buy these, just be cognizant of that fact. Unless you can buy them locally, chances are by the time that they arrive at your house, those flowers will be dead as a doornail. Okay, back to what I say. Well, that is all I have for today for this gorgeous rat tail cactus. But as always, if you had questions that you were hoping I was going to address that I did not address, then drop them in the comment section down below. I will do my very best to get back to you in a timely manner and hopefully we can get your plant questions figured out. 
As always, don't forget to hit that like button, and we are still working to get to a thousand subscribers before the new year. So if you are watching this, and it is before January 1st, 2021, that's so crazy, that seems like a million years away, but it's like a couple months, oh my god. Um, or even if it's after that. Either way, hit that subscribe button for more plant care videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for checking this one out, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.